Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Bilugina and you are watching the daily stock market review by Tradimo. It's Wednesday, May 8th and S&P 500 index is declining for the third day in a row as traders remain concerned about the progress in trade talks between the United States and China. The US President Donald Trump tweeted that China's representatives are coming to the US to make a deal. Still, uh, the market remains nervous. Treasuries rose, so did gold and other safe haven assets. And uh, we see that investors are nervous. They will await the news uh, regarding the visit of China's vice premier to Washington on Thursday and Friday. And S&P 500 is close to support in the area of 2860, where we can find 50-day moving average and the high of March. If uh, the price falls below this level, then the next levels to watch will be at 2840 and 2800 marks. Resistance is located around 2920. As for individual stocks, we need to uh, point attention to the Electronic Arts Inc. The company uh, reported higher than expected revenue and strong sales, and uh, as a result, it opened with a bullish gap. However, there was the significant resistance line going through the highs of February and March, around 100. Uh, 25, the descending 200 day moving average and as a result the stock is now trying to close the gap. Support is located around 100 day moving average at 93.20 and uh, in the area of 91 um, the support, the decline will lead to a deeper correction to the downside but um, so far uh, there are reasons to believe that the price will just consolidate. The stocks of Lyft are trading on the downside. Here we are at support in the area of 55, uh, close to the lowest levels for this stock. The company reported the bigger loss than expected and um, the earnings report was mixed. We saw that uh, the revenues of the company doubled in the first quarter. Uh, however, uh, the stock is under pressure ahead of uh, the IPO of its major rival, Uber, which will take place on Thursday and Uber will start trading on Friday. As a result, uh, we see this uh, test of support and a decline below 55 will make the stock vulnerable for the movement to 52 and 40 eight dollars resistance is located in the area of 62 uh, and 63 and we need to regain these levels to target 66 and higher levels another talk stock here uh, to have a look at is the stock of Walt Disney Company. The firm will report its earnings after the market's bell on Wednesday and um, Lower uh, readings in terms of earnings and revenues are expected by the market um, in the first quarter because of the high comparison base from the first quarter of 2018. The price has descended from the record high it formed at the end of April and um, much will depend on the company's outlook, on the details it shares about its Disney Plus service. Um, if uh, the company remains optimistic and um, foresees gains, then uh, the stock will try to recover and get above 140. If, however, the company underlines that it will face uh, a lot of um, a lot of expenses in the upcoming quarters due to uh, the new streaming service, then the stock will be vulnerable for a decline to support in the area of 128, 126.50. And these levels guide uh, uh, the 
downside the major support is located at 120 level and as long as disney stock is above that mark the overall long-term uptrend will remain in place and uh, there are some news about tesla we can see that the stock is trading in the area of 250 it managed to regain some grounds uh, last week after the previous sell-off so this might be the trap for the bears here tesla reported that it managed to um, get cash of 2.7 billion dollars as it offered stocks and convertible notes to the market and now uh, tesla will have this cash uh, in order to um, ramp up its production levels this is certainly good for the company and we'll see whether the support uh, holds and the stock is try, uh, tries to show at least some uh, recovery, although for sure the major resistance will be located at the 200 day moving average just above uh, 275 level. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention and subscribe to TradingMoo YouTube channel.